Here is the list of 50 Enduration mods. Each one of these mods are so unique, so I advise you my friend to watch till the end. You really can't afford to miss out on any of these mods, believe me. Seamless mod connects the outlines on double blocks like doors, beds and so on. It is indeed seamless and won't mess with your vanilla experience. Extended block shape is a mod that will add a couple of new unique and somewhat curious block shapes. These new blocks can be used for decorations and will open the door for vast creativity. Car card mod will release a mass infection upon your world. Everything from maps and even blocks will be affected. This infection doesn't stop and will keep spreading and spreading until there is nothing left to infect. So play it at your own risk. Mineraly is a very convenient mod that will collide ores together in this ore pile. You will have to mine it in order to get the ores inside of it. There are also a couple of rocks in the surface which contain singular ores. This mod can be a bit overpowered since I noticed a considerable increase in the amount of ores you would find. More sniffer flower will add a few flowers for the sniffer to sniff up. At least that's what the developer of the mod said. These new flowers are unique and some of them have custom models. Elytra Bounce is both funny and life-saving. This incredible mod will make the Elytra bounce off the ground instead of landing, or even dying. This is a must-have feature if you've been suffering from constant plane crashes. Just make sure you are holding space if you want to bounce. Enderman Overhaul is a mod that got popular recently. Using this mod, you'll come across a multitude of new endermen. Some of these endermen can drop amazing loot. And the design can vary depending on the biome or the dimension. My personal favorite is the end island enderman. Bridging mod adds a new way of placing blocks that is rather easy and time saving. However, this feature, as convenient as it may seem, it can get bad very easily if you use it on a popular server. We all know how the amazing Splanker Charm mod was sadly removed from Kirs Forge for some reason. But don't worry, here's a revival mod to use instead, and it's the Lucky Splanker Charm 2. It works the same way as it makes the caves scarier with random earthquakes happening now and then. There are also new items like the rocks on the ground and the helmets on the mob's head. Fourth Shot is one of the very underrated mods on the list. This amazing project will allow you to take super high quality screenshots and gives you the option to tweak virtually anything about the screenshot. Here is a comparison between the normal 1080p screenshot we would normally take versus the 4K screenshot this mod allows you to take. Biome Plus includes a variety of Vanilla Plus biomes that you must definitely explore. The new biomes along with the new structures will surely spark a desire for traveling within you. Modular Golems includes loads of new variants of the golems. Some are made out of different materials, others are humanized and some look entirely different. These dudes are so damn strong and can take on even a warden. You can build them from scratch and they will protect you to death. This is one of my favorite mods on the list and you'll enjoy discovering the tens of golems this mod offers. Crafty's end village mod adds new type of villages that spawns in the end. This is more of a wreckage than a village but it's still a great way to add new types of structures in the end, outside from just having end cities. Crafty's Japanese Villages is a mod from the same creator. This one will instead add new type of village that can be found on the newly added cherry groves. The Japanese touch of this building is much appreciated and quite wholesome. Zoo Architect mod adds a variety of wildlife to your game. 
The animals procured by this mod are very convenient and fits the vanilla Minecraft perfectly. I love this mod, but I feel like it's a bit limited when it comes to versions compatibility. <laughs> Diabolical Delights is a Halloween mod that adds this new item called the Jack o Bomb. This whimsy bomb will unleash funny and sometimes demonic effects. <laughs> Set mod will make it so that you can sit virtually anywhere you please. The mod is highly configurable, so if you wish to make certain instructions not to sit accidentally, you can simply do so if you have the mod menu installed. Quality sounds adds new unique sounds to the placement of some blocks. This feature is quite interactive and it is also possible to disable a specific sound if you don't like it. Block Physics Overhaul is an experimental mod to enhance overall physics in the game. This mod can be annoying at times since it will make building very very hard. But I love the realism of the fire and the explosion in this mod. You will find the block physics very handy when trying a certain challenge or something. Holes are skites adds a new functionality for the holes. They can now be used as a brush cutter and will weed out a wide range of the grass and flowers. Simple Animated Guns is one of the very few modern combat mods that does work on fabric and on the latest versions of Minecraft. The mod itself is not to be underestimated. It holds amazing weaponry options of which you can construct a perfect warfare mod pack. Lamp Crafting is a mod that grants you the ability to create tons of new lamps. I find this mod to be very useful for people looking to expand on the decoration aspect of the game. The Serpent's Better Totem of Undying will make this item actually useful. No matter what kind of death situation you are facing, the totem will somehow find a way to save you. Explosant Mod is also a life savior as it will rebuild any structure that happened to be obliterated by a creeper. This will give you a stress free experience with Minecraft. Rebirth Paintings is a tremendous mod for the paintings. You'll discover now a large number of new detailed paintings, some of which have historical value. Others are just beautiful, and I feel like this will be a valuable asset for you my friend if you are looking to beautify your walls. If you are a fan of the Wild West era, then you'll love this mod. It adds a good amount of weaponry from the Old West. They are not super advanced weapons but worth checking out regardless. There are also new structures in the form of fallen wagons. Butcher's Delight allows you to obtain different cuts of meat when slaughtering any ruminant animal. The new cuts have different satiety levels and this is something that will add a little bit of realism to your game. Jury's Fun Stuff is a silly mod that provides a few stuff from real life just for the sake of having fun. Those new tools got amazing design nonetheless and are so gratifying to play around. Just note that the skateboard for some reason crashed my game. Simple Spears are new weapons that are similar to the Tridents but deal less damage. However, when the spears are thrown at an opponent, they deal double the damage. Any lanterns included a total of 4 new lanterns. While the number might seem tiny, but we're talking quality over quantity. The new lanterns have incredible designs and are perfect for decoration. They are also relatively easy to craft. This video is an extension of the first episode. You must watch it if you want to obtain the other mods. And believe me, they are just as exciting as the mods mentioned here, so don't miss them out.